Hello there! Happy May the 4th be with you, weavers, and this is the way we're going to make a little Grogu paracord keychain, because like his real counterpart, this little guy is absolutely adorable and makes a great gift for the Star Wars fan in your life. And if you want to gift it to yourself, do it. So, this is where the fun begins. Let's get into it. In terms of paracord, I'm using sage and coyote, and also a couple more short pieces of sage that I'll be gutting. With the long sage piece, I'm going to place the midpoint behind my middle finger like so and tie a diamond knot. I'm going to make an underhand loop with the right cord and place it over the left cord. Then with the left cord, bring it counterclockwise under the right cord. From there, that same cord goes under its own standing end that's in the middle of the underhand loop. We've formed our Carex bend. And after that, the cord on the right is going to move counterclockwise past its standing end and then through the opening in the middle. Then the left cord moves counterclockwise past its standing end and then through the middle. Gather both strands and form the knot slightly, but leave it somewhat loose. Now I'm just using a spike to show you, but this is the path the cord will take. With our shorter piece of sage, I'm going to remove the inner guts of the cord you can do this by snipping both ends of the cord and then pulling the inner guts out. From there, this gutted piece is going to pass through the same path my spike was occupying. And then we can now cinch up the diamond knot and tighten it up around the piece of gutted paracord. At this point, if you want to make your keychain loop smaller, you can do so and adjust it to your liking. Now I'm going to form the ears. I'm just going to cut the ends on an angle and then very carefully melt them slightly with my lighter and do this for both sides. With my brown strand, I'm going to place the midpoint behind the sage strands. Then in front of the strands, I'm going to tie an overhand knot. That same knot you start tying your shoes with. I'm going to place the right cord over the left and then pull tight. From there, spin the piece around because that's a good trick. Then on the back, tie the same overhand knot just like you did before and pull it tight. And I'm now back on the front and I'm now going to need our second longer piece of sage. And like the first strand, I'm going to remove the inner guts to snip off the ends if you need to and yank the inner white threads out. After that, tie another overhand knot But before I close the knot, I'm going to pass the gutted piece under the two sage core strands, but over the outer coyote strands. From here, tighten the knot and firm it up, and you can also push up the knot as well. Then from there, turn the piece over and repeat the same overhand knot on the back. I'm going to tie two more overhand knots after that, so we have a total of three sets of knots. This method is actually called West County Whipping. With that done, we're going to form the little hands of Grogu by tying a simple overhand knot to the right sage strand on the right then cinch that knot all the way to the body of the piece. Repeat on the other side, tying an overhand knot on the left side. And make sure you do this mirrored compared to the other side so they look similar. And finally, we can snip off any and all excess cords, which goes for the strands at the arms, the strands coming out of the body, and the strands coming out the bottom. Snip off the excess, melt with the lighter, and press down on the ends to lock them in place. And there we have a little paracord Grogu to keep you company wherever you go. Just keep an eye on the kid and make sure he doesn't get into too much trouble. 